what you are and what you know. There's no way that you can invent the things. We can learn a lot of techniques from different cuisines all over the world, but you're always gonna have your roots on it. So I'm gonna prepare today this uh, traditional Ecuadorian stew. If you put just chicken breast, it's not gonna have the same flavor because it's in a stew and it's gonna boil together. So usually I always like to put something with ball on it. We use honey in, in you know, South American culture, not as much as the Indians, uh, but a little bit, a little touch, always help, you know, salt, pepper. And I'm planning to go to the top and seal this chicken. That way we're gonna give it some color. It's just, it's basically the look. It's gonna make it more appeal, more tasty to the eyes. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. This is anato seeds. This is a very traditional seed that we use uh, while back in Ecuador. Some Indian tribes used to paint their faces and hair with that because basically it's gonna give it a lot of color. So I just wanna brown it a little bit. Look at the oil. We already have lots of color on it, and I'm gonna put it here. And turn the chicken. I'm gonna take this chicken out. It's okay if you're using the same bowl because we're gonna put it back in the fire and it's gonna be cooked. You know, we already have some fat from the from the chicken skin there. I really like this in a low heat. You know, I'm gonna put the whole tomatoes here. They are very soft, so they're gonna be perfect for the stew. We love to feed people and make people happy because when they say, oh, this is all I need to spend you, it's gonna say, okay, it's worth it. I'm gonna put these tomatoes here. Okay. Um, now we're gonna put the chicken back. And a light white beer. And you see, we have some tomatoes here. I don't wanna. I wanna use them. And here, and this is two. And we're gonna leave that simmer. If you have a pepper or a spicy jalapeno or something, you can put it. I didn't have it today, so I'm just gonna put some chili flakes and a little bit of oregano. And we're gonna eat this with rice. We don't wanna stall the flavors of this too, so it's gonna be white, simple, just rice, salt, and water. You know, it's like you seal the rice when you fry it, so it's gonna be more, more grainy. Okay. Cover it. And that will give us some time for our salad. I love cucumbers. So I don't peel it all the way. So I'm gonna make some squares here. Now I need some hard tomatoes because I want to chop them same size squares. I grew up with avocados. We have like three, three trees of avocados outside in the garden. Basically, I grew up eating one avocado a day, I guess. I'm still doing it. Now we're going to use cilantro a little bit for the salad and on this too. The last thing that we're going to do is lime and just a good cold press organic olive oil and that's it toast it super simple and it's delicious so the only way to know is try it to see for me it's perfect mm, it tastes home also, we're gonna do it with some baked plantains because I just find that we have some very ripe plantains that we can put it in the oven. You find these in a, in a local Mexican market or Latin market, 
And when you see these black ones, these are the sweeter ones because they are very ripe. So I picked these ones and I'm gonna put it in the oven. So it's, it's gonna be a side for our stew. You know, when I was a little child, I used to go on vacation to a farm that they have no electricity. They baked the plantain just on the fire and they were delicious. It was my, it was my snack. I personally like butter. You can put whatever, coconut oil, olive oil, put it on a pan. You put the bananas on it, just like that. You don't have to do anything. Just put them in the oven. You can fry them if you like them. My mom used to boil them. I don't like them that much. I like it baked. It's my favorite. So, and put butter over. We don't have, I don't know how much time, but if you leave it in really low heat, it's gonna taste better. I'm gonna put it 325 and leave it there during I finishing my dish, okay? Whoa, look at they look good. And you know what, we can put some more water now. You know, we have a lot of nutrients. It's gluten-free, don't have any sugar added or whatever is naturally sweet. But I love it. I can eat this with my cup of coffee instead of a donut or a muffin. We have some stews in Ecuador that people put it inside the stew. So it, it gives it some sweetness. This is a great side dish. Very simple to do. We have the rice that is perfect. It's gonna be whipped on the juices of the chicken, the plantain and the salad. I used to do a lot of events and for our thing that it was Lots of work, and I said, No, I want an empanada shop, something more relaxed. It's not, <laughs> I didn't know that, but it's so enjoyable. We like to keep the things like good oil, organic food you know, the flour we make is organic. We buy from local farmers. I know it's expensive for us as a business, but if we don't do those small efforts, we are not gonna change. When I Start with the restaurant business. I start, you know, checking prices. I just need ten bunches. I don't want the whole box. Say, me just buy the box. It's gonna be cheaper. Throw it away while you don't use it. And say, all this nonsense. I saw a lot of cans and foam, and it was so sad because I come from a family that we do a lot of cooking, but also a lot of jungle and natural events. So I say, we are destroying. You know, in Ecuador, I used to cook for a company. A that uh, they took the uh, box lunches for people to make a uh, tours. Everything was in a cooler, uh, glass bottles, everything in containers. Then the box lunches, they bring it back, we wash it, we send it again. But we don't have it here because we want everything fast, but we need to make an effort to change. And I like it that. And I like that there's a lot of customers who appreciate what we do. So come and visit us. <laughs>